Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, your boy Cory, aka Crasher, here with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we are back to check out another episode of the Mew and Mewtwo comic drama. This time, we're going to be checking out part 32, and in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, that was a heavy hitter right in the feels, and that is one of the many reasons why this series is so beloved and so good. It makes you feel a huge range of emotions. You're either laughing your arse off to the point where your face is hurting, or you feel like you're about to cry because of how deep in the feels the storytelling and the details are. This series is so freaking good. So let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys show the original content lots of love. Links to all stuff in the description down below. Let's do this, baby. Oh, oh are we getting into squishy faces? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. I'm with you on that, Ash. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait. Okay. What is going on? Okay, that was just cursed. What the hell? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Could we please see Mewtwo's Aloha variant? Oh. Maybe with a drink and a coconut with an umbrella? Even grumpy psychic kitties deserve Let's see time. how this turns out. And you didn't see anything. No, we we saw. You're not invisible. We can see you, buddy. <laughs> we can see you. You ain't John Cena. Hello. Oh. Okay. Asterisk. <laughs> you eat coffee. Asterisk. I am not. Oh no! No 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 no! Not caffeine. Oh. <laughs> What's with that? Well, coffee is quite bitter, but. I was I was I was hoping that we'd we'd get to see Huey bouncing around because of the caffeine. <laughs> okay. I guess pumpkins are. <laughs> I guess pumpkins are on the menu for Huey, but it's still food. Kind of has a point there. <laughs> it's got some strong ass teeth though for like to chew through the pumpkin like that. Mmm. <laughs> oh wait, it's empty. Uh oh. I mean, who can resist ramen? Really and truthfully, who can resist it? <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! My, my face is starting <laughs> starting to hurt here. <laughs> That is true. Mew doesn't have a neck to knee choke. What the? Oh, that is a good point. I was not expecting Mega Mew to why though. Oh my. Oh my God. She's trying to cure her burn. Oh man, poor Mega Mewtwo Y. And Mighty Anna walks away. I guess Mega Mewtwo Y wins by forfeit. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's 
a good idea. Teleporting unchewed food into the tummy? What? Whoa. Okay, what? Oh, wait. Is that, was that Mega? That's Mega Gengar. Oh, whoa. And Mega Tyrantar? Okay, what is going on here? Uh, okay. I don't know what to think. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Oh, it's over. It is over. <laughs> Rest in pepperonis. Oh, T-Tar is still standing. Should have seen that coming. Now we have to track it down again. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, whoa. Okay, what's with? What? Uh. Maybe it's not such a loss after all. Oh, I see what's going on here. Blood sample from that Mewtwo. They did say they were only looking for a DNA sample. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We've got Ash and Pikachu coming across Mewtwo. Injured in shrubbery. Okay, what the Okay, I am utterly speechless right now. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, freaking wow. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to say right now. Like, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Did that, did that really just happen? Oh, man. Okay, that is... That is crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into my post-reaction thoughts about this episode. So we got back to the comedy and shenanigans that we all know and love about this series, and it showed us some very important things, such as the struggles of eating food with having a skinny neck, and how it's never a good idea to teleport food into one's stomach. There's so much that could go wrong in that instance. Lesson here, folks, chew your food. I also found it adorable that Huey ate up that pumpkin like it was an apple. You gotta have some strong-ass jaws to be able to do that. Poor Huey, though, was denied of his ramen because Mama 2 ate it all up. I mean, ramen is good, so I felt for Huey, but honestly, I would have eaten those noodles too. The part that really piqued my interest, however, was how we went from the lighthearted funny moments to an action scene involving a group of bad guys and their mega Pokemon attacking Mewtwo, and it was all to get a DNA sample. Now, this cannot be good in any way. This part here also references episode 2, where Ash and Pikachu found Mewtwo injured in the bushes. So, could we be getting more storytelling regarding these events? And what will that DNA be used for, I wonder? I'm telling you, this series just keeps getting more and more intriguing and better and better as the episodes go on. So, let me know what you guys think about what we've seen here in this episode, and tell me what you guys enjoyed most about it. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below because I love hearing from you guys. Always have. That will never, ever change. So thanks again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.